Well, I'm standing here with my trusty sledgehammer because if you recall former Governor Terry McAuliffe used to like to say, I'm the brick wall for reproductive rights. And then he would follow it by saying that Victoria Cobb, me, but actually representing all of you is the sledgehammer. And so we have had this symbolic sledgehammer and I'm here to say, we won't be needing this anymore. Um, but really, we are so excited to have the outcome that we're seeing uh, after last, last night's election results. Um, the idea that we could get back to a place where we have some conservative leadership for our state, not just in the governor's office, but we might even see conservative leadership in our House of Delegates. This is an opportunity for um, pro-family Virginians to stand up and be able to reverse some of the terrible policies that have been passed over the last several years um, under the most recent General Assembly and, of course, under uh, Governor Northam. And so we're getting excited. We're putting together our legislative agenda as we speak, um, planning to move the ball forward. We don't stop working. We didn't, you know, it's not like we win at the ballot box and then we just sit back. In fact, no, that's when the real hard work starts happening, where we actually begin to advocate for the things that matter to you and I. But we're excited. We're excited not just for the outcomes, but for the fact that parents were such an important voice in this election. They stood up. They stood up in school boards and they stood up at the ballot box. They didn't just show up at a school board. They actually went and voted for their children. And um, we've been in those school board meetings. We know how passionate they are. We've been stirring it up all across the Commonwealth. And we're just thrilled that it translated into actual change at the top level. Um, it's such a great feeling to know that we will have a different uh, you know, secretary of education, a different superintendent, that we will actually have uh, people forming the curriculum of our of our public schools that actually understand uh, what matters to parents and that care what matters to parents. And so this is a big deal. I would also say this, that former Governor McAuliffe tried to make this election about Trump. Um, and we can see that actually more than Trump being on the ballot, it looks like Biden was on the ballot and uh, people aren't approving of the policies of this White House. Um, so that's interesting. Um, and he tried to make it about abortion, which was interesting. He tried to make that a, a central issue, threatened that the world was going to end, that we could end up with a heartbeat bill like Texas has. I don't know that we can expect that in Virginia, but I would say this, the voters weren't scared off by it because they clearly chose Glenn Youngkin, who actually said, I'm gonna immediately go after taxpayer funding for abortion, and actually made that part of his platform, that he does believe that we have to make strides for the unborn. And so um, I would say that uh, this election is a resounding positive sign for all the things that we care about. And we saw just even in all these house races, conservatives were put forward on the ballot and moved into office in awesome uh, places. We hope we will have um, like I said, a majority. And then we saw even down to the school board levels, we saw great outcomes. And another issue of great interest to the Family Foundation is the Richmond Casino. Um, we have been hard at work trying to block a casino uh, right here where our headquarters is. And it was a David and Goliath scenario. I mean, outspent 10 to one. Um, they brought in Jamie Foxx and Al Sharpton and everybody else from out of town and uh, convinced everybody that if you in fact voted against this casino, not only were you bad for Richmond, you were actually a racist. I mean, it was a terrible, terrible battle. Um, but it looks like the people of Richmond may have absolutely rejected the casino. So we're so excited. That is still too close. It hasn't yet been called, um, but right now uh, we're up. And so we're super excited that um, this kind of predatory thing won't necessarily take place here in Richmond, we're hoping. And uh, so you can be prayerful about that. Last thing I'll say is if you heard our Vice President Kamala Harris on Friday in Roanoke talking about um, this election and how important it was, she told her people, she went out there and said, this is going to tell us what we need to know for 22 and for 2024 and beyond. Um, so she set the stage to say this matters not just for Virginia, but for the midterms and possibly the next presidential. So we're thrilled that here in the Commonwealth, we get to send a message to the rest of the nation that says, yes, you can stand for conservative pro-family values. You can stand up for parents. And actually, that's what's going to help you win. So um, with that, we're having a great day and we hope you are too.